guys, it's Haven, and this video will be about how to take good notes. Ooh, the peep bend. Anyways, what what'll you what you'll need is obviously paper, a pen. I'm using a 0.3 millimeter Muji pen, and since I'm using blue for this week, I'm using blue. I have a lot of blue things. I know these suck, but they work perfectly fine. It's also best having a highlighter. Really, it depends on you. I usually start with the header. The header should summarize what your notes will be about. It best you, it's best using scripts or doing calligraphy, but I suck. I can't do any of the, I can't do any of these things properly. I've tried. I'm just going to write the header and script. I'm trying. So what I'm doing is writing the header and script, and then adding two streaks of highlighter next to it. It's not the only header you can use. My favorite is writing the words in highlighter and then rewrite, rewriting the header in smaller letters with pen. It makes my header look nice. And I ruined the distance there. There are other headers like a banner. It looks horrible. My drawing skills are also horrible. There's also this one. I'm cringing at how bad it looks. The next part depends. I know this does not look fully aesthetically pleasing. Hey, I'm trying. If you are a high school student like me, you would usually start with the aim. I'm using a colored pen to title the aim, or in this case, I take Spanish. The meta. I'm I write the next few letters in black pen. You don't have to write good. You don't have to have good handwriting for this, as long as it looks nice. Depending on the lesson, there's also the vocabulary word which I like using a felted pen. You can buy it from anywhere. I use anything unimportant with black ink pen. So it's basically the header. Well, if I'm using a colored part for a header, I need something else to make it pop out. And then like the words after the A, vocabulary. So we have vocabulary. Oops. My brain switched to Spanish mode. Since I don't have light out, I'll just cross it out. It'll look good as long as you have enough white space. We have the header, aim, and vocabulary. This is how I take notes. When doing the do now, I underline with either a highlighter or pen. It depends because I use pen if there's a lot of highlighter and vice versa. When you have graphic organizers, I like making it this way. I first use a highlighter on the paper and then write over with pen. Then I write the rest of the things with Pen. Thing one, thing two, thing three, thing four. Also do it, you could do it whatever you want. You can, you could use bullets, arrows, or boxes. In bubble graphs, I highlight the place I want to put a thing and then write over it. I pref I prefer it like that since it pops out more to me. Sometimes simple notes like proton, positive, neutrons, and electron negative. I also make a lot of mistakes. To show the difference between the two, I'll mark around the positive and negative to show the difference. However, don't use too much color. This thing here looks too colorful and crazy. This was when I was beginning on taking care of my notes. You wouldn't want it like that. If you want to put homework underneath, you can you can use a banner. You can use a header like this, like this one, or a banner. Or if you want your homework to look to not look like that you can do it like this there's also this one which I'm putting a black box underneath this is all for you to be creative and remember your notes you remember things easier when you put in your own words it will help you if you say it out loud sing it or anything that will help you which is basically I'm repeating myself I'm doing a scroll which I epically failed anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video